by Downing. Swinging. There's a drive into left center field. That ball is going to be out of here. It's gone. It's 7-15. There's a new home run champion of all time, and it's Henry Aaron. The fireworks are going. Henry Aaron is coming around third. His teammates are at home plate. And listen to this crowd. Oh, my goodness. You can just feel the excitement there. And all day, Atlanta has been going all out to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Hank Aaron's 715th home run, crowning him baseball's new home run king. Sports history there. Those celebrations, of course, continued before tonight's Braves versus Mets game. Our Dacian Smith was there for all of it. All right, Dacian, you're joining us live now. Are the Braves sparing no expense to honor the Mobile native? Hey, that's absolutely right. That pregame celebration had a little bit of everything as fans, friends, family, and former teammates all came together to celebrate one of the all-time greats who gave us a moment that will live forever. The pitch by Downing. Swinging. There's a drive into left center field. That ball is going to be out of here. That night 50 years ago was one of the greatest moments in all of sports as Hank Aaron broke baseball's greatest record with home run 715. Some of his teammates from that 1974 Braves team returned to Atlanta to remember that day and the man who made history. He was a he was a low key guy and everything around him was basically low key. He led by example in every way. For me to be here today to help celebrate the 50 year of him, it's a blessing. The Braves legends were part of a pregame ceremony that was fit for one of baseball's greatest players. Across the field, there were signs with the date of each home run Hank Aaron hit on his way to 715. His teammates took the field at Truist Park while looking back on their memories from 50 years ago, especially Tom House, who actually caught that historic home run ball in the bullpen. But well, probably means more now than it did then, but I knew when I got the ball, I had to get it in his hand. I had no... I didn't remember it was worth a lot of money or anything other than get it to Henry, see what happens. The 74 team was then joined by Hank's wife, Billy Aaron, who received a standing ovation from Braves country. And a well-deserved proclamation. Several fans in the crowd were also there 50 years ago to witness a home run that did a lot more than rewrite the history books. I think it brought, you know, a lot of America together. You know, um, you know, there was a, a bunch of negatives. You know, there there were some racist comments, but there also I think it changed the minds of a lot of people on how he handled the whole thing with dignity, you know, humility and um, and honor. So uh, it, it definitely, uh, you know, helps society. To close things out, Hank Aaron's great grandson, King Aaron, threw out the ceremonial first pitch to end the celebration and remind everyone there's only one number 44. There'll never be another Hank Aaron as a player or, you know, or a person. And uh, like I said, he's a living example to, to us all. Also during that pregame celebration, Delta Airlines donated $150,000 to the Henry Lewis Aaron Fund, which aims to increase minority participation through all levels of baseball, which if you ask his former teammates, that was always a lifelong goal for Hank Aaron. Live in Atlanta, Jason Smith, Fox 10 News. All right, thanks, Station. A very cool experience. Mayor Sandy Stimson also sharing his thoughts on Hank Aaron today. He says, in part, we will always be proud to call Hank Aaron a mobilian. Today, we join the Aaron family and millions of baseball fans celebrating Hank's continued impact on the game of baseball and the world.